So today marks the three year anniversary of leaving my gym in Miami and going all in on AI. And to celebrate, I'm giving you my 19 best AI agents that I use to actually run my AI agency that actually sell to clients. We're gonna show you agents in this video that don't save time, that don't make useless faceless videos, but actually change businesses. Every agent workflow you're gonna see in this video is used in my AI operating system, which is scaling to $100,000 a month. And this is everything that I teach in my no-code academy. And today, guys, I'm just gonna break down every single agent that we use. If you want all of these blueprints, it's in the no-code academy down below. And let's get this baby started. So there's gonna be three different types of AI agents that you're gonna see in this video, operating agents, active agents, and outbound marketing agents. And we're gonna start off with the active AI agents. And first and foremost, we're gonna talk about the ultimate research system that we built. And so this research system uses the perplexity deep research AI model, and it uses it in three different calls because we're doing research for social media marketing. And so in this workflow, the agent researches all of my YouTube competitors, all of my TikTok competitors, and all of my Twitter competitors. Once the agent then finishes finishes up all of that research, it then gets broken down by the Gemini model and then stored in my operating system. So that when clients are looking for their competitors and how they're performing, they just see it very easily on one dashboard instead of having to look on the back end. And we do this by scheduling out the trigger. So once a day, this workflow triggers off and searches for the most recently uploaded videos from my competitors. And so if I were to open up the description, that's where I set it in the description and I also gave it today's date. So it actually understands what day it is. And then we also give it the full prompt. Now this research engine guys, can essentially do any type of research. So I'm just gonna break down a couple more examples of how we use this for our clients. We have an e-commerce client that builds different clothes and manufactures clothes for brands, and they wanna see what are the trending clothes or material types or different fabrics that could be used for their business. And so for them, their research engine essentially finds the winning content for clothing brands, the best trending fabrics and materials that they can use in their textile stack, and anything else that they can come up with over over time that they want to research. And so this can evolve for software as well. And so if there was a software company that was a part of our operating system, we could then study all of their competitors and show them how they're hitting the market and hitting the algorithms. So this one workflow is three AI agents. Now let's move on to our operating system workflows. So the first one I want to show you guys is the chief database agent. So to explain this simply, Every single AI agent and every single piece of API software that we have in our operating system is all being stored in one database. So our database has 70 different tables that explains how your social analytics are doing, how your social posts are doing, how your business is performing, how your AI agents are performing. And within one chat, we can simply get the response to see how our entire business is performing with one AI agent. Now this legitimately saves me like two to three hours every single day because I'm able to actually see how everything's performing and we have a full tutorial breakdown of that. This AI agent also then in improves because that is just level one. We can get into level two by giving it a rag deep brain interface where it can actually think about multiple different layers of our business. So we can give it documents about, you know, how we sell our products, who our customer base is, you know, our logos, our icons, how we want the agent to be responding to our clients. And so that is the chief database agent. And it is one of the most proud agents that I've ever built because the only way that someone can even recreate this is if they already have an operating system system built. And so if you're able to get to this point inside of the academy and build out your own operating system with a database agent, it's going to be game over for you. You're going to absolutely crush it. So the other operating agent we have guys is the chief operating agent. Now this agent has access to 10 sub AI agents that are specialized for different workflows. And so within one chat interface, our users are able to access their email agent, their calendar agent, their content agent, their contact agent, their Stripe agent, anything else that comes to mind in terms of their day-to-day -day operations. So the main goal of this agent is to just save users time by streamlining tasks. And so these tasks could be like, tell me all the emails that I've missed and summarize them, 
reply to them with drafts, send out emails to these people, mark all of them as read, and then it can check your calendar, it can book in appointments in the calendar, it could book Zoom appointments, it can send Stripe invoices, it can make products, and the list goes on and on. And the main point about building an operating system for your clients is to show them the power of this system because over time it can also improve. And so the more inputs that we're getting from our clients, actually results in the system itself getting better. And this is again why we're building out an AI operating system instead of custom AI solutions, because in this way, we're able to scale much faster. Because if someone wants to purchase our entire OS, we just simply fork every agent that I'm showing you in this video and it's ready to go. So that was the operator agents. Now I wanna talk about the outreach agents or what people like to call vibe marketing. Because in my opinion, we absolutely have vibe marketing locked the fuck down. So our AI agents can send up to 10,000 outbound messages every single month. And that's just across social media. We're gonna talk about email campaigns and SMS campaigns a little bit later on in this video as well. So the first agent that I wanna show you guys in this workflow is the Twitter outreach agent. Now it looks very, very simple in terms of its automation because all of this automation does is triggers once a day and it checks the statistics of our AI agent's performance on that day. So the actual agent itself is set up on Phantom Buster. So if we head over to Phantom Buster, we can now see our AI agent set up called Kev's Outbound Twitter Messenger. Now what this agent does is it scrapes all of the people that have liked my posts in the past. And then we fed this agent with all of those leads. And so it has now sent over 700 messages from the people that have liked my posts in the past. And that's resulting in a lot of lead gen and a couple of sales that have already originated from this workflow. And since Twitter only allows you to send 50 messages a day, we then use that N8N workflow to track the day in day out progression. And so what you're seeing on the screen now is how I would actually set up this workflow and I would actually add in my custom message. And so the agent says this to every outbound lead that we have, and it sends eight messages every time it launches. And in total, that equals 48 messages every single day. And so inside of the operating system, the user once again is able to just see a very simple card of how their agent is performing. All right, guys, so this is outreach agent number two, which is LinkedIn connection requests. So LinkedIn can send 25 connection requests to brand new leads every single day. And this workflow automates that. And then it also sends personalized messages to these leads. So it basically is a done for you 24 seven lead generation system that grows your LinkedIn every single day. And then once a day, we then run this automation to check how the agent is performing. And so if we look at the most recent run from yesterday and we open up the actual statistics, we can see in the output here, if we open it up, that 705 connections have been sent and 167 have been accepted. These stats then get stored in the same operating system that we were talking about throughout this entire video. And once again, the user just sees a very simple LinkedIn card on the front end. All right, guys, so we're continuing with the outreach agents breakdown, but now is something that literally no one has ever shown you before because I'm about to show you an Instagram outreach workflow that was restricted by API limitations. And so Instagram doesn't allow you to send new messages to leads with an automated workflow or through their API. But with these new AI tools, called Airtop and Warmwind, these give our AI agents access to their entire computer browser. And so we can log in on Instagram on behalf of these agents, and then they can use their computer to send those outreach messages. And so the exact same workflow as the outbound messaging for Twitter and LinkedIn, but this time we'll still do the scrape on Instagram. And so here I did the photo liker scrape that scrapes all the people that have liked my posts on Instagram over the past week. Then we feed all of these leads to the warm wind agent because the warm wind agent has access to its own computer. And once those messages are sent, it is then shown inside of the operating system once again. And so you guys are going to get an entire tutorial about the warm wind agent because it is literally brand new. And once they let go of the waiting list for all of you guys that are on the waiting list, then we'll make that tutorial. And so that workflow for Instagram is the exact same thing for Facebook. And that leads us into another AI agent, which is your first conversational agent. 
So I wanna show you guys how that works. So what you guys are seeing on the screen in the bottom right hand side is my AI agent that I use in my sales demos when I show people my Facebook conversational agents. Now, what this agent has access to is a knowledge base of a car dealership and all of its locations, all of the cars that it has available for sale, its location, the times that they're open and the times that the user can actually book in a demo drive. And so I'm just gonna show you guys a quick prompt of how that works and I'm gonna show you guys how the back end works as well. So I'm just gonna say, hey, what cars do you currently have available? And we're gonna send that in. Now we built this automation on make.com just because make.com has a built-in Facebook Messenger node, which makes this a million times easier for us to build out. And so here we have on the screen is the Facebook Messenger workflow and we can see it in real time actually going through that workflow and sending that response. And so if we look back in the chat, we can see, hey, right now we have a 2023 Corvette and a 2025 Cybertruck and it lists out the prices, lists out the location and lists out a booking link to actually come and book in a call or book in a test drive. And so we set this agent up by giving its instructions and tools for it to actually make these responses properly. And so the KD AI agent has access to the calendar, the products, and the sales invoices that we can actually generate for this user that's messaging us. And so if we open up the KD Messenger, we can see that it has access to two separate automations. And so the first automation is just a simple Google Docs that it has access to. And then the second one is my entire calendar. And so this calendar could be switched out for real employees at a real dealership. And so they just need to see how this thing works. And so that's why we have this built out because anytime we have a sales call, I show them exactly how this works. And so continuing with the messaging agents, this exact workflow can work the same for WhatsApp, for Discord, for Telegram. And so once you figure out how to set up your Facebook messaging agent with the Metagraph APIs, which we have a tutorial for, then you'll be able to set up basically every type of conversational agent that you could possibly wish. So now guys, I'm gonna show you something that again, no one has shown you before, and that is basically turning AI agents into just code bases. And so if we open up our operating system, I have some active AI agents that I wanna show you, but since they weren't built on N8N, I actually have to show it in my application. And so if we go to left-hand side, we click on active AI agents. Everything that I spoke about in this video is shown on this page, but I just wanna talk about a couple of the other agents that we haven't spoken about yet. And so these are interactive agents that you can actually do things with. And so the video to shorts agent here allows you to upload a YouTube video and it converts it into five to 10 short form videos that are completely edited. And so for a YouTuber, for example, that is massive. Same thing with the custom image model agent. So I make YouTube videos and I use the image model agent to make thumbnails. But if you are running an e-commerce brand, then you can use the image model to make product images and then turn those product images into videos. Or if you were a marketer, you could do the same thing for all of your clients that are underneath you. So those are just two of the examples. But another example that I have here is an entire video clone that we have set up. One of the offers inside of Creator OS is that we can have a completely done for you content marketing plan where we create your content post it and upload it all at once. And we can actually also create clones of our clients and we can clone them, we can clone their products, and then we can just start creating content for them at scale. And so this is another built-in automation because it's not something that we need to build on N8N. It actually works better when you build it with a code base. Now guys, with all of this being said, I also have other people on my team who specialize in different AI agent workflows that I don't wanna spend my time on because I'm really specialized at social media marketing and figuring out how to grow businesses. I'm basically a growth operator for all of my clients. But one of the massive systems that we have is an email outreach system that scrapes and sends up to 3,000 emails a day. And one of my partners, Alex, actually runs that entire system, so I'll be able to show you guys how that works as well. But another example I can give you about the operator agent and how we can make this better for our clients is let's say they had a physical location and then we can implement an inbound and outbound phone agent. So the inbound phone agent picks up the phone every single time there's a call, breaks it down, analyzes it, and that agent itself will have access to calendar, Zoom bookings, messaging, and it can basically automates the entire inbound lead gen 
of a physical location. And then we can set up an outbound phone agent that the entire team will have access to, to then send phone calls from the operator agent. So they would just have to send in a simple message. And so what you guys just saw are the genuinely useful agents that I have inside of my AI agency that is literally helping me scale in real time. I'm not showing you any of the fancy looking Google VO3 faceless workflows, none of the things that actually are useless. I'm only showing you and building things on this channel that are used for actual business development, business growth, and streamlining very complicated and boring tasks. And so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you on the next one.